It's about time for a transition. Saul is about to come down so you, my friend, can go up. When I went to sleep last night, the Lord dropped the word upgrade, upgrade into my heart. And as I was just sitting on it and praying over it, not sure exactly what the Lord wanted to speak into that word. When I woke up this morning, the Lord gave me 2 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1. And I want to read that passage to you. But before I do, I want to read the definition of the word upgrade so you can see how the Holy Spirit put this together for me so that I can deliver it to you. So when you look up the word upgrade in just an ordinary dictionary, here's what it says. Number one, an incline going up. That's key. An incline going up in the direction of movement. Number two, an increase or improvement. So the Lord gives me 2 Samuel chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, and here's what it says. It happened after this, that David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to any of the cities of Judah? And the Lord said to him, Go up. And David said, Where shall I go up? And he said to Hebron. So David went up there. And his two wives, also Ahinoam, the Jezreelite, and Abigail, the widow of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David brought up the men who were with him, every man with his household, so they dwelt in the cities of Hebron. So five times this word, go up, remember, an upgrade, an incline going up. Five times that word is used in this particular passage, and in the Hebrew, it is the word Allah. It means to go up, to ascend, to climb, to spring up, to shoot forth, to arise. And the Lord is saying to somebody today that you are about ready to go up. You are about ready to arise. You are about ready to ascend. However, in order for you to arise, there needs to be the removal of a Saul. There needs to be a removal of a Saul that is obstructing or hindering you from ascending. Now, why do I say that? Because in this account, Saul had died. David had been anointed to be king over Israel a number of years previously, but Saul had been occupying that place. Even though the Lord had no longer been with Saul, Saul was occupying that place. But now Saul had been removed so David could go up. And this is exactly what the Lord is preparing some of you for right now. The Lord says somebody's about ready to spring up. Somebody's about ready to shoot forth. Somebody's about ready to go up because God is about ready to remove some Saul's. Now, for some of you, it's going to be the removal of a literal person, just like it was for David. But listen, as the Lord gets ready to do this, because he knows there's been somebody seated in a place that's been obstructing you and hindering you. But as the Lord prepares to do this, I want to encourage you to be sure to keep your heart like David did in the right place. That means fully trusting in the Lord, and even honoring those who've gone before you, even if they have been against you. In fact, I would encourage you to go back and read 2 Samuel chapter 1, because in that passage, you see how David honored Saul, even though Saul was constantly seeking to take David out. Saul actually hated David, and yet David honored him. So we want to always keep our heart in a right place with the Lord, fully trusting him and honoring even those who have gone before us. But listen, when the Lord removes Saul and he says to you to go, you go up. You go up. Do not hesitate to ascend. Do not hesitate to arise. Do not hesitate to go up into that place that God has prepared for you. You might not feel qualified. You may not feel prepared. You may not feel like you're the best suited person. But when the Lord calls you up, I want to encourage you today. God has sent me to encourage you today that He has prepared that place for you, my friend, and He wants you to go. But for many of you, I sense the Lord emphasizing not a specific literal person, but a mindset 
that Saul represents. There has been something that has been hindering you in the way that you've been thinking that the Lord says is about to come down. And I sense for some of you, it's a stronghold of inferiority or a fear of failure that has been holding you back. And this is actually what Saul's primary problem was in the very beginning. And because he didn't deal with it, because he didn't let the Lord deal with it, it became a major stronghold in his life and became a major problem in his life. But listen, God is about to pull that thing out by its roots. He's about ready to deal a death blow to it so you can go up so you can ascend, so you can progress in the plan and purpose of God for your life. No more dealing with this self-sabotaging spirit of Saul. The Lord says he's about ready to pluck it out. So when Saul died, David went up. And when David went up, he took others with him. And I love that part of this account. And I want you, my friend, to remember that today, that when God begins to bring you up, when you begin to transition so that you can ascend, so that you can progress, so that you can go up, I want you to remember to take others with you. I also sense the Lord in this message, one of the things he was ministering to my heart through this. He wanted me to remind some of you that he, the Lord, is not looking for perfection. David was not a perfect man, okay? He was not a perfect man. You can follow his story from the beginning, and you're going to see over and over again where there were times of failure, okay? God is not looking for perfection, but David was a man after God's own heart. That was the primary distinction. So sometimes, listen, sometimes well-meaning people can make you feel like you just need to jump through one more hoop. But listen, God is not making you jump through hoops to gain his acceptance. You have his acceptance. You have his favor in Christ Jesus. That doesn't mean that we just sit around and we do nothing, but we do what we do from a place of acceptance. We work hard because we have his favor. We work hard because we have his acceptance. We don't work hard to gain his acceptance by jumping through more hoops. We work hard because we already have his acceptance. If God be for you, who can be against you? Amen. Listen, if you're in relationship with God through Jesus Christ, you have a better covenant than David did. Built on better promises and the blood of Jesus speaks an even better word over your life. So it's time, my friend. It is time for a transition. Saul is about to come down so you can go up or so you can experience an upgrade, so you can ascend in the plan and purpose of God. So the Lord is saying, prepare your heart and prepare your ways to ascend. I prophesy over you today, according to this word, that you are about to enter a time of transition. Saul is about to come down so you can go up. This is the word the Lord has given me for you, my friend. And as an act of faith, I want to encourage you to just type in the comments below, Saul is coming down so I can go up. Saul is coming down so I can go up. Up. Listen, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I want to ask you to please do so now so we can stay connected. And this is all I have for us for now, but I look forward to being back again with you soon. God bless.